Welcome to this tutorial on how to build a goal tracking page in Notion. In this tutorial, I'll walk you through the steps to create a goal tracking system that helps you stay organized and motivated. First, let's start by creating a database for our goals. We'll use the table database so we can see all the properties we'll be adding. The first property we'll add is a select property for quarters, so we can filter our goals by Q1, Q2, Q3, and Q4. Next, we'll add a select property for years, which will allow us to filter our goals by a particular year. Then, we'll add a date property for the deadline of each goal. Finally, we'll add a checkbox property to mark a goal as completed. Next, we'll create another database for next actions. These are tasks or actions that are broken down to help you achieve your goals. We'll start by adding a date property for the deadline of each action. Then, we'll add a checkbox property to allow us to mark an action as completed. The next step is to relate the two databases so we know which goal an action belongs to. To do this, we'll add a relation property and select the next action database. After a little customization, we can start assigning actions to goals. Next. Let's create reusable page templates for our goals and tasks. For the goal template page, we want to be able to see all the related tasks. To do this, we'll need to copy the link of the next action database and create a link view within the template page. Then, by adding the goal filter to show the current page name, it will automatically display all the related tasks for that particular goal. Now every time we use this page template, it will show us all the related tasks for the selected goal. Next, let's create a simple template for the next action database. This is optional, but it helps us add the page icon quickly. Finally, let's set the page templates as default so that every time we add a new page to either database, it will automatically use the template. By adding the rollup property to the goal database, we can create a progress bar that shows the completion status of all related tasks for each goal. The final step in setting up our goal tracker is customizing the database layout. For the goal database, we'll change the table layout to a board view. This allows us to see our goals by quarters. Then, we'll add the properties we want to see, such as the progress bar and goal deadline. For the next action database, we'll keep the table layout, but we'll hide the goal property and instead use the grouping feature to group our tasks by goals. This allows us to have group toggles to show or hide relevant tasks under a particular goal. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please leave a like on this video. Feel free to ask me anything in the comments. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.